Hello and welcome to episode four of Ministry Toolkits, The Tool Belt. I'm Lindsay. Business as usual. The Ministry Toolkit is a growing website for free church resources. It was created by and is now maintained by the Salvation Army, but it's free for anyone at any church to use. We've got a lot to get to in this episode, so let's just go straight to it. The holidays on MTK are merry and bright. Check out the Thanksgiving, Advent, and New Year's resources on Ministry Toolkit. And those are just some of the free graphic resources. Don't forget to head on over to Core Resources to check out the great Advent materials that they have for the upcoming season. That includes sermons, PowerPoints, and this awesome video. And now to business as unusual. The rest of this episode is perhaps a little more grave than the other episodes of The Tool Belt, all three of them. Um, today we'll be talking about human trafficking in this special edition. Remember the last episode when I said so this? We need to tell people to take a stand and not be the demand, although that's another issue entirely and it's one we're going to talk about next episode. So. Well, I was talking about human trafficking. See, when we partake in things like viewing pornography and buying clothes made in sweatshops, we become part of the demand for human trafficking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is human trafficking? Let's back it up a bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In case you've been living under a rock for the past five years, or if you've missed the Lifetime, Dateline, or ABC specials, or even the movie Taken, human trafficking is modern day slavery. Some estimate that 27 million people are enslaved in the world today. And it's not just in places like Thailand, Cambodia, and Amsterdam's red light district, but human trafficking occurs in places a lot closer to home, like your city. Our friends at Core Resources have linked to a site called Freedom Sunday, which Ministry Toolkit is now also linking to. Freedom Sunday is an event affiliated with the Not For Sale campaign and was created to make church folks like us more aware and more active in opposing modern day slavery. It's slated to take place on February 26th of 2012 and your church can register for free at www.freedomsunday.org. That site also hosts tons of excellent resources for this event. Right now, they've got nearly 3,000 churches registered, and their goal this year is 10,000. So bring it up to church leadership, pray about it, and see if this is something that your church can take on. Mark your calendars for February 26, 2012, and uh, plan to participate in Freedom Sunday collectively with the Christian world at large. For more ways to actively get involved with the fight against human trafficking, go to notforsalecampaign.org and click on the Take Action tab. There you will see all of the appropriate ways you can get involved, whether you're a student, a teacher, a consumer, which we all are, a business leader, etc. Not For Sale is an incredible movement and their site is full of practical information and ways to get involved. If you're familiar at all with the Salvation Army's work against sexual trafficking, then you know all about the Initiative Against Sexual Trafficking. If not, head on over to www.iast.net and check out the free resources they have, including a really great prayer guide that would be a good addition to your Freedom Sunday activities and beyond. Prayer really can change things. The Ministry Toolkit also has a lot of good and, as always, free resources to help you present the case against human trafficking and why people need to stand up and do something about it. Telling people, after all, isn't enough anymore. Which is why I am wearing this shirt. If you could see it, you'd be trying to figure out what it says. This is the abolitionist shirt from wardrobe, army apparel, and designer M. Brady Clark. John Chase of Destroyer and Ryan Clark also have designed shirts for sale through Wardrobe. 100% of the profits go towards the Salvation Army's fight against human trafficking. Thanks for joining us for this human trafficking special. We are going to do rock star moments this episode, but we'll be back with that segment and much more in two weeks with a more normal looking episode of The Tool Belt. Next episode, we're also going to do something a little special. We're going to decorate for Christmas. Yay! If you have a picture or something that you want to send me via Facebook, Twitter, or email, please do so. And I would love to print that out and put it on our Christmas tree. It can be anything appropriate that you want to send. A favorite Christmas lyric, an image, your favorite family photo. 
anything, again, appropriate that you can think of. Get your Christmas decoration picks to me by midnight on Monday the 28th of November. I look forward to your submissions. So, in the meantime, communicate with Ministry Toolkit on Facebook and Twitter and look out for our latest free graphic and resource releases. We'll see you in two weeks. This is sure my busy season, and I'm tired. And there's a sound that makes Christmas real. If you want to really be a Santa Claus helper, give generously to your Salvation Army Christmas fund. <laughs> oh, thank you, Santa Claus, and Merry Christmas, everybody.